Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and we buy and sell stuff for our two antique booths and the two antique malls that we're in. Mommy Antiques in Mommy, Ohio, and Plaza Antiques in Lincoln Park, Michigan. And this is Sherry the Ornament Queen. So today we're going to do a video on how to use vintage tools, kitchen tools. So we're going to try, we're going to attempt to demonstrate this for you, right? Okay, well we can pretend. Oh, wait, we can always try. It doesn't right. mean it's going to happen. It doesn't though. mean it's going to happen. <laughs> That's right. So the first thing we're going to do, um, this is an egg separator. And what you're supposed to, this is the, the purpose of the tool, is you're supposed to put the egg in there. It's going to keep the yolk up. Okay, we'll see. I'll really. hold it and you, you crack yeah, it. Yeah, I think this is a two-person job. <laughs> Although, I probably Nana didn't have to have two people. Oh, I don't think so. But we don't really know what we're doing, so we're going to give it a try. Okay. So let me crack the egg. Okay, here okay, we go. Okay, you ready? Now let's see if it actually works. Ooh, if I don't break the yolk. Oh. Oh, wow. 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 That really on, did separate. Uh -uh. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh it's sliding stay, out. Stay in. Stay. Oh. Stay. See if you can work. scoop it back okay, up okay. in there. Maybe. Well, let me let me try the other one. Maybe oh, hold on a second. Let me do this. Maybe okay. it was the scoop it up there and see if you can get that yolk to stay in. Yeah, okay, oh. yeah. Well, oh. you well, you got it up. Oh. That didn't work very good. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try the other one? We can try it, but an egg is an egg. I think we're no, gonna not an it. egg. I'm talking. Oh, the other. One. Oh yeah, go grab the other tool. Okay. Yeah, there was another tool that was the same thing. Maybe the coils are a little. It pulled out through the years. We'll see if it makes a difference. I think I think here's the other one, and I think this one's better because look at. Oh yeah, yeah, the coils are. Yeah, so let's coils. give that one a try. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so so this is this is one thing you have to know. Don't get fat. Don't get wide cake. Wide. You gotta get the. Or if you get one like this, you probably gotta squish it down. Yeah, because like look at the bit. difference between this and this. Yeah. And I quote it like. Do you want to break another egg in there and show them? Well, we could, but I think I, I think, think just scoop that one out of there. I think this, done. I mean, this really that shows definitely it. holds. I mean, it. that holds it where this did not. Look at yeah, that Whoa, was flies right out of there. Come right <laughs> out. So, we're, so now I learned something, Lori. Yeah, you got to look for the ones that the coils are a little bit closer together, yeah. or you got to be able to adjust these to make. And sure. I don't think you can adjust these. I mean, I, I think, think you got to go with something skinny. I, I think if you squash it down, maybe I don't know, but I think the start off with this type would be the best. I think so. Okay, and so we there, learned something today. So there we go, an egg separator. A, a great egg separator. Yes. All right. So today we have three different kinds of ice crushers. We have this big, heavy one. This is my favorite. And then we have this little tiny one. Not like gonna the, work. No, we're gonna try. I know, but I. And just this is a little bit newer one, and this one is uh, more automated. What is that? A 40, 50, 60 one? You think? I'm not sure on the age of this one, but this one's. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of green. I would say 40. Yeah, 50. the color looks kind of like 50s, 60s, but I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna try all of them. They're all vintage, and we're gonna see which one does the best job. Perfect. So I think we should try the fanciest one here first, don't you okay, think? Okay, you can find time fancy, but I'm going to tell you, this one over here is my baby right there. That's the killer ice maker. <laughs> yeah, it is a killer ice maker. That's that why I like it. That one is scary. That's why I like it. So we're going to put a couple ice cubes in here. I don't know, like, if it has to be full or what. No, I don't think, I, I wouldn't. Okay, I'd do and then that. we're going to, we have to put the lid on because I think it's going to throw it back up at us. Okay, and you notice that we can make coarse or fine according to which way you're well what kind turning. do we want well i would like coarse because Old i don't fingers. want it melting in my drink okay we'll do coarse okay we'll try both how's that okay that's all right it's not very effective is it? <laughs> well let's do fine because it's not even going in this direction <laughs> you hold the bottom okay i'm holding it Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if we had to make ice this way, we wouldn't be drinking much, would we? <laughs> oh, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm liking see, it. Did, did it do it? Well, a little bit. Oh, not a whole lot. Okay, not a whole lot. I don't know. This one might not be our winner. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is how much we got. Oh, well, that's going to be a good. That's let's try a, a little bit more. Let me try. Right a, let's try a little bit I'm more. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. And it's all melted already. So I'm. All right. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do the rest of it. I'm telling you. 
I'm not liking this one. <laughs> this is just fancy looking. Yes, it looks prettier, but it's not really. It's almost snow cone-ish. <laughs> Let's take a look though, see if we got any more. All right, yeah. look at all that. Woo -woo. Woo. If we had a crush ice that way, it would take us five hours to do three drinks. <laughs> One. Look at what's left. It, it, this is just not very effective. I this don't know about effective. that one. Let's try the one cube ice crusher. This one? Yeah, how about All you right. do that? Okay. I, oh, no, no, no. This is mine. So I can, you can yeah, do Yeah, but one. I have a trigger finger, so oh, I'm oh, having okay. a hard time with that. So okay. you, you're going to have to do okay. that one. I'm going to take one piece of ice. <laughs> That's got to be really effective. I think you got to put the other side first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You okay, can, you need to try I a think it might cubes. need to be a bigger piece of this. All right, let's try a bigger piece. a bigger piece right here. And I think you got to put it on this side. Okay. It might break better. All okay, right, here we see. go. Big piece of ice, and here we go. Oh, it's going to do it. Is it? All right. Okay. okay. Now we'll see. And I'll get, get another, my, get another a glass. glass here. Let's see what see it looks like. See how my ice show it up there. Ooh, Ooh that worked. Wow. That worked. I'm impressed. That I would really take am. hours to get the ice. Yeah. But it did work. It works better than this one. I like that. Now I this mean, one. That, and it's not melted or anything. I am okay with this, although it's going to take me a long time because <laughs> I got to do it for each ice cube. This, I'm wondering if the blades are need to be sharp. I think or that something. that is supposed to look pretty, and that's all. I, I that looks like a snow cone maker from that. <laughs> I'm not going there. I, I'll I'll take this old okay. thing any day. Of the now week. we're going to try the big mamba jamba one. Okay, mamba jamba. I'm ready for mamba jamba. Here we okay, go. Okay, what we're going to have to do is put the bowl under here and then put the ice in the top. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. Are you, are you gonna, you're left-handed or right-handed? Well, I'm left-handed. Okay. So My whole life, Lori. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to put it in here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good news. Go ahead. I won't. I won't. I think we'll start with two. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is turning out to be a very interesting video. Well, you kind of got to go back and forth but i'm telling you is this supposed to go around in a circle yeah it is but oh my god this is not working Lori. <laughs> well no <laughs> wonder they didn't do crushed ice back in the day <laughs> shoot man by the time you crush this it'd be melted this your party would be over but you I probably mean, know. see you guys i'm sorry that i didn't get any ice for well, you well you got a few little yeah, things let's, let's show, let's show. Okay, yeah, okay, there's okay. a little bit there in the yeah, top there's a little oh, bit it's also all yeah, melty it's though melted melted and i still got a lot of pieces left so i personally think Lori, that this one wins I and have i would have never, never thought. thought i would have never thought that either i would have never thought this one wins but this one wins but the whole thing is is that you got to do one cube at a time and i'm not quite sure you're better off just to leave it cubed and not worry about crushing it i like this one though because okay. at least you can crush ice with this one this one no this one, absolutely not. This one just didn't That's work real cute. well. That's cute. It might have worked well when it was new. But at I this really point. Thought, I really thought I would like this one with all those pointy things on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, look at all the teeth in that the thing. Teeth. I thought, I thought that this one. I was, thought that would be a winner, too. I, I thought. I really thought this one would be the winner, but I never thought that. One at a time would be the winner. So that's our winner of ice cream. Winner, ice winner, crusher. chicken dinner. The next thing we are going to try is the potato racer. This is my personal favorite one. I'm anxious to see how this is going to work too. And I hope I did this right. I talked to some people about how to prepare the potatoes. Like, what do you got to do? Well, and do you have to boil them? I, I peel them and then I boil them. And okay. they've been in the refrigerator a little bit. So hopefully they don't make it too stiff. But I, I don't know. So we're going to... It just doesn't seem like this would work very good, but we're going to give it a try. Right. And our tool is a little bit stiff, so we're going to try the best we can on this. All right. So why don't you open that up? Okay. And then I, I figured we'd cut these up a little bit. Yeah, just Do you think we can in. put two in? No. Well, let's just try one. Let's try one first. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> we can get it in. Okay. It work. Here we go. All right, go. Okay. Oh. Turn it over so they can see it. Look at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. Okay, so they're, okay. Hold on, let me just try it. Give me another. Give yeah, me, I think give you me need a three more I think potatoes. you need a give bunch me, Give me a bunch. Just throw them all in there. I don't know if we can get them all in. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. okay. All right, let's see. Here we go. 
turn it to the side a bit so they can see. Are what? you okay? Yeah. Fuck it. Oh. 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 They look like little oh. maggots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is kind of gross, Lori. Uh, uh, what's uh, the purpose of this? I don't know, but once we get it done, oh, it's doing is, it. This is yeah, it is ricing. It, it is ricing them. So, but why would you want to? <laughs> well, it is working. Maybe, maybe it like how about horseshoe or horseshoe? <laughs> how about shoestring potatoes? That's what it looks like to me. Shoestring potatoes, isn't that the same as french fries? Yeah, well, maybe back hash in the day. browns. Maybe like back hash browns. Day. I think hash browns. Yeah. And then you could fry them up. Go ahead. Yeah. You got it all in there? Well, as much as I can because. Okay, let's put the last If you one look. In. Okay, go ahead. Oh, then we got a big. We, we got a big. Got a big smash potato. Yeah, on we the, got a smash so potato on the bottom. You got I a tried. mash. You, I'm, can I'm, have, I'm, you can have mash and rice at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you can have mash and rice. Turn it sideways when you do it. Okay. All right, ready? Wow, it is working. <laughs> I'm gonna squirt it all over. I'm squirting it all over. Maybe I'll turn it this way. Squirt at the camera, not at me. Wow, it did work. It did work. Um, I don't know how efficient that is. But, well, but if you wanted, if you wanted little baby uh, mashed potato things, um, it that, did, that did the job. It now, did the one job. lady told me that they use this with squash too. I could see squash. Oh, working I better. could see squash working. Yeah, I think that would be good with squash. Yeah, and and really, if you look at that, look at how nice that looks. Yeah, Lori. that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it's pretty good. It did do the job. It did the job. Now, um, exactly why we want it. That's another question. Because it seems like as soon as you put your fork in it, it would turn into mash. It's going to turn into mash as soon as you put your fork in it. But it, but did, it's it pretty, did work. It did work. It did work. But then the other thing is, is like, okay, you got this like this. Uh, and it, ain't I going to put in some milk in this? I mean, this is just a regular potato. I mean, aren't I going to put I don't some with, milk No, because butter? then you would, maybe butter, but then you would make it mashed potatoes. So I think they want it to look like rice. If you know why you would want to rice potatoes, please let us know in the comments. Because, I mean, it definitely did it, but I don't know why you would want to do it. And maybe a recipe. Maybe it was for a particular recipe. But maybe a recipe. If they know, they might have a great recipe. Yeah, right. yeah. So if you know anything about that, let us put it in the comments. And let's go on to the next thing. All right. So the next tool... <laughs> This is not going so well, but you know we're we're giving it a try and we're testing these for you, so you so don't you have, have to, to buy them unless you, don't you want really to. like to. You're like, okay, so this is the juicer, and I would imagine you could use this with orange juice or lemons or whatever. But I have in the garden tomatoes, so that's what we're gonna use. Well, you know what? A good tomato juicer is yeah. Really we'll give important. it a try. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. Wow, that knife is a little scary there, Lori. <laughs> I'll slip it in there, but I'm going to let you press down on okay. it and see if we get tomato juice. Okay, and I guess we'll use this glass right here. Yeah, we can use that glass okay. in there. So Here we go. Okay, so crush those tomatoes. Oh, well, I hear it squishing. Oh, wow. I it is working. Ooh, it is I definitely hear it. working. I hear really lots of squishes. And you know what I like? Look at the Look at all the Look at it. Seeds. There's the seeds are on the top. Yeah, I like that. That is. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but. Well, it should. I don't want a bunch oh, of Oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa. You better pour it in the glass. Pour it in we the glass. <laughs> Wow, and well, boring. You know what? <laughs> wow. We didn't get much juice, but you know, maybe with an orange or a lemon, it might work better. It might. I don't know. Let's oh, see what's left okay, in there. Oh, oh, it smashed the tomato. Maybe not the best with tomato. Okay, so tomato, it might not work. But maybe it'd be better with a lemon or orange or something it, like that. Because look at the inside. It just basically smashed. Yeah, them. so you know what I think. I think that it doesn't do tomatoes. I think it would do a lemon or something like that because a lemon, you know, it would... Um, well, we have a lemon. <gasps> do you want to try it? Yeah, grab the lemon. Okay. Are we going to keep the tomato in there? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I'll get the tomato out. Okay. You grab the lemon. Boy, that was a nice tomato. That really is a big smashed one. Yeah, now. that's too bad because that tomato looked good. I, yeah, uh, that came right, right from my garden, yeah, too. Yeah, well. Well, good thing they were more coming. Yeah. yeah okay, maybe. we got that out of there. Maybe because the tomato has the skin on it. We can leave the juice in there. I'm not that worried about that. But let's try. Now, would you peel? I think you would at least have to cut it in half. Cut that's, it in half? Yeah, I'm, 
Cut it in half? Yeah, cut it in half. I'm just And if we're about doing this wrong, please leave it in the comments. We are by no means experts at testing things out. We're just trying it and seeing what works, what we think could work. Yes. So, and if this is not the right tool for the right job, feel free to correct us anytime you see that too. Well, correct Lori, because I... <laughs> Because I, I am not an expert on all these tools, I'm but I thought, expert. It, I thought it'd be fun to try it. Now, what, would you put it like this? I'd put it like that, exactly the way it you're putting good. it in. You smell it. Oh! That smells like a good lemon. Yeah, it does I smell hope we like don't good lemon. totally trash it. Okay, okay so give it a there try. There we go. Give it a try. Okay. Mm, it's not oh. making any noise. Boy, not making any you noise. you got to have some serious strength with you some know of what? these tools. That's why Nana was big. And she had those big, big muscles. muscles. Yeah, because yeah, she had to use these kind of things. Do these Maybe we're not things. supposed to have the skin on it too. <laughs> well, I don't. Let's know. Let's see how much juice we okay. get out of it. Here we go. You ready? All right. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, we got some juice there, baby. We definitely got Let's some juice. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open it up. Oh yeah. Whoops, that worked pretty see, good. See, I almost think that if you peeled it, you'd even get more. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's a it's a lemon. I, I think, although I think that we would have done the same thing by just squeezing it in here. Like, <laughs> we probably would have. You know, but but this was more fun. This was definitely more fun. Yeah. I'm so, almost thinking this is cool. Yeah, I think so too. That's kind of a cool little tool there. And, yeah. And it is, I think it would be easy, it's easier with a, le with a lever than to do it with your hand. I still think it would be easier. You didn't do it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be easier just to do it like this. Yeah, that might be easier. Yeah, but, but. Or use like a reamer. That'd probably be the best. But yeah. anyway. But so, it's a cool thought process. Yeah, it's a cool thing. So that's our juice strainer. Maybe, maybe that's why this didn't make it into the 21st century. <laughs> probably a good reason. So let's move on to our next item. Perfect. Now, when we use this, when we use this with the Adam Bubble. Yes. We use the little red cherries. Yes, we did. And they're not in season right now, and I can't find a red cherry to save my life. So, but I did But these find, are my favorite cherries. Yeah, these are really good, too. So yep. these are um, black cherries, and um, they're famous in Traverse City. I know. Michigan. Right. So I thought, well, let's try these. They got a pit in it, and let's see if it does the same thing. Now, I know when we were kids, we just didn't put one at a time. We put like a handful. We did, but we took the... the we should take the stems off. The stems off. Yes. yes. Now, I know it worked really good as a kid. Now, whether this one works or not, here, let's put a few in there. Okay. We'll, we'll give it a try. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Are we, are we okay? We're okay, but I think, Lori, if I'm not mistaken, that the pits are going to come out here, so we don't want the pits and the cherries going in the same place. Yeah. You got to, um, let's, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll use, I got a, I got a glass here. We'll put the the pits in the glass. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if this. Can we? Can I start? I think. I, I think we can okay, start. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let me get the glass ready. Hang on. Let me get the glass ready. Okay. okay. We're ready. Well, well. Let's not put the glass here yet. Let's just see. Okay. Here okay. we go. <gasps> oh. It's definitely juicing them. Ugh, it's juicing them. Oh yeah! Well, there's... Look at that! Okay, let's show them. The... Let's show them. Okay. Okay. Go look on. at that! One came out just perfect. Yeah. It did pit them. It did pit them, but it has my cherry so gross, I don't want to eat it. Well, no, this is like for pies. Oh, this and is stuff. for pie. This is not for me. This is not for you. Okay. This is more for pies. Okay. So here we're keep still. Keep going. Keep going. I'm not quite sure where the pits are going. Oh, come on. <laughs> there may be a pit in there. Okay. So let's come now, on. Now I can vouch that this did work really good this for the small worked. cherries. Yeah. I, I don't know about the big cherries. Yeah, because I'm doing this and it, it, oh, here we go. Okay. Good thing you're strong. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have some. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, so now we did this. I don't know what. Oh, we, here. Oh, that might be the pits right there. That's let's the see. pits right there, man. Those are pits coming are out. Pits. Yes, they Whoa. are. The pits. It did work. Oh There's my the pits. Gosh, look at that. Is that Check ever that cute? out. It actually Hold really on. worked. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. All right, look at that. There's that's, the cherries in there. And like here's it. the pits in the glass. So, so this is definitely a winner. This is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo yeah, we kind of knew this because we yeah, had Yeah, we did. Thing. Did you want to do a few more? Oh, what the heck. Let's, Let's do, do a couple more. more. Okay. Let's okay. put three more in and, there. And who's going to pick make our pie? Are you going to make my pie? <laughs> I don't think so. 
Aww. I'm not known for very good cooking skills. <laughs> We're going to have to get my daughter to make the pie. Yeah, this, the next generation is much better at cooking than you know, we are. The only thing is, is like, it's... I think we get you get bogged up a little bit because they're so big. You think so? Yeah, I think that's the issue. But the this was definitely a winner. I think uh, if it worked as good as it did when we were kids, you could really zip out some cherries there. I don't know if we're zipping anything, Lori. <laughs> no, I think for the small ones we did zip them out pretty quick. Yeah, we did. So there we go. There's the cherry pitter. So let's go on to the next tool. So now we're gonna try this grater. And actually, this was kind of cool because at the Michigan Antique Festival, I found the original box for this grater, so I oh, knew okay. exactly what it was for. And it was for an, a wide assortment of grating things. Okay. So, um, so now we can try it. And I think a lot of people use cheese in it, but we'll give it a try with cheese. How's we'll give it, it a try with cheese, but you know what I also think? Um, and we tried with cheese, that's fine. Yeah. But I'm also thinking now that you said that, it could be a good garlic press too. A garden press? Garlic. Oh, garlic press. Oh, yeah. it could be. Yeah. You know, holding it down and yeah. going. I'm just thinking. It, yeah. It might be. It was nice to see the original box because it was all kinds of things. It was nuts and cheese and a variety of things. I thought, wow, that's a do it all in one tool. Do it all in one. So let's try some cheese with it and see how good it works. Okay, we'll see. So I don't know if we, I think we're going to cut these up in small pieces Like maybe? just, you know, I'll just try like that right there and just see how it works. See how that works. Okay. Well, maybe a little bit more. You think right. we need a little bit more? Okay, if you want. I think it, it's not going to be effective unless we put enough in there. Okay. One more? Sure. <laughs> Load her up. Load it up. Okay. Load it up. Let's give it a try. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm pressing this down while right. I'm While, while I'm you're turning. turning, yes. And it okay. should come out the side here. So let's let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I see it. It's you working. Okay, 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 okay. I'll keep it going. Oh, I see it. Yeah! Tip, oh my gosh! Tip it outside. Look at oh, that! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Something That's a winner! Works. Winner, winner! Winner, winner! Yeah, that one's really... That one works pretty good. Yeah, it does. And I'm thinking... Oh, I could still press a little bit more. It's kind of difficult at the end to press, but... It's a little too hard to press. Yeah, but, you know, I think it works pretty good. Yeah, look at the show this side over here. Oh yeah, look at that. And that's where it all comes oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah. I I'd say this was a winner. I'd say this is a winner too. Yeah, I'm I'm giving this one thumbs up. Thumbs up. Definitely. Okay, there's our shredder. So for our next tool, we're gonna try this vintage manual can, can opener. Yeah. Versus versus the, the power big, one. The big power. Electric. And this is the one I use all the time in my house because so, it works really good. Are you serious? Yeah, because see I. My hand, I have, I have a trigger finger right now, and I'm having a hard time squeezing anything. I'm probably going to have to start a surgery or something in the future. But um, if this worked, this would be a lot handier. It would. So so okay. maybe I should try this one. Yeah. And then if I don't have the strength in my hand, then you could do it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, because then I can really compare yeah, the two. Yeah, because okay. you need to. So we have jars of pickles here. Jars of pickles. We may have to sample those too. All right. So it looks like to me, you put this over the top yeah and just turn it yeah that's what i oh, think oh not that direction obviously okay now once you get it tight on there maybe <laughs> i don't know that's not working too good you know what that's not tight enough on there okay we're gonna let you try it because you've had better huh well let's try it again here we go No comments now. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Feel free to be the demonstrator on this tool. Because Thank you. I can't do it. Thank you so much. So once again, this closes. And so we're going to do this. You did it probably perfectly. Was, oh, it's sliding on you too. <laughs> it wasn't just me. It doesn't grip it strong enough, does it? It did oh, work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it worked. It did work. I know, and it really wasn't that hard. Really? No, it wasn't. Oh, they smell good too. Those are dills. You want one? I, I don't like pickles. I'll have one. Okay, go ahead. Just to make sure our products are good. Well, well yeah. 
So I, I personally think this is Oh, they're really dilly. <laughs> but you got to try one of these because they are. I don't like pickles, Lori. You got to try one because they are the most dilly. I don't know if that's a word. A dilly pickle that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Let me try another one. Oh, my God. They're really dilly. See that? That's what happens to me when I eat something weird. Mm. Woo! Holy moly. Those are some of the most dill pickles I've ever had in my life. So this time we're going to do it my way. Okay, we can do it your way, but you know what, Lori? That worked okay for you. This is antique? Yeah. So, I mean, it did work. So I'd say that's a winner. That's a thumbs this up. This is a thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up, no question. This is a modern one, obviously. Oh, my gosh. This is... You really use this? Yes, I do. Oh. How nice is that? Oh, I See, like it. You don't have it. to worry about it if you got that. Now we have to try these pickles. I'm not eating a pickle. You should try at least one. Oh, gee. We know we'll cut it in half. How's that? No, you can have one and uh, I don't know if I want a whole one. Okay, well. Here. All right, there we go. You, you grab the bottom okay, piece. Okay, I'll grab the bottom piece. There okay, let's see if these are not, maybe they're not so bad as the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. No, that's better. Do. That's better. It does the same thing. That one's better than the last one, though. Well, it's good if you like that pickles, one? but I don't like pickles. You don't like any kind of pickles? No, you make me eat pickles. Oh, these are really good. I like these. Those, whoo. Anyways, so there is our antique jar opener. So thumbs up on that. Let's see what we have next to try. All right. Now, this here, I actually found it at a garage sale. I even got the yeah, price. Yeah, you even got the price. I still got the price. I paid a whole dollar a whole for dollar. this. A whole dollar. A But dollar. I kind of I think this came with a jar. We can pull the price tag off. That's kind of tacky. But, that is uh, tacky. That's okay anyways. Anyway, it's not going to come off so easy. But I thought we'd try it on a little glass dish. I'm thinking this is like for eggs or maybe maybe even like whipping cream. I'm not sure. When's the last time you whipped cream, Lori? <laughs> I think I did. I did do whipped cream. When I made quiches. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I made a quiche, I whipped the cream. All right. I had to buy whipping cream, and then you had to whip it. I think, whip that's, it what, good. I think that's what I did. All right. <laughs> but anyways, let's try this with eggs and see how this goes. Oh, you're going to let me do it? I'm going to let you do it. Okay. So I'm gonna, So we, we have an egg here, um, and I'm just going to go like this. and see how that works. It would take a long time to whip some No, cream. it's not. It's whipping, baby. It's it's whipping the egg really nice, actually. No. And you know what? Scrambled eggs with this would work pretty good. Let's oh, look. Wait oh, yeah. Oh, that's a oh, winner. And you know what? They probably gosh. came with that. Probably came with a specific jar, like a depress. Probably was depression glass, and and it probably attached to it. But this, I only could find the top part of it. But that does work really good, doesn't it? I love this. Yeah, this because, is Because, you know, like, I always want to whip my eggs when I make scrambled eggs. Yeah. And this. That really does a good job, doesn't Ooh. it? So that's a thumbs up. Thumbs up, baby. So now we're going to try this tool. And this is a chopper. This is a chopper? Yeah. So what you do is you push down on the cutting board. Push down on the... Oh, with that. Yeah. Yeah, with that. And it's supposed to chop things up. So I got some really tiny little onions. My garden is just coming on right now, Ooh. but these are really tiny. But I think they'll work, so let's let's give it a try. They're a little on the muddy side, but that's okay. We just want to see if the tool works. Okay, so so maybe I, I should. Do you think I should leave them like that, or should we cut them, slice them a bit? I guess that will do it right there. We can try it. We'll try it if we have to slice them. We will. All right, you go for it. Slicer, dicer, dices your onions and th oh my gosh, that's not bad. Are you yeah, it's making me cry. But <laughs> here's another one. Let's try another one. Yeah, sure. You, you know what? It's working. All. Yeah, I'm getting it too right okay. now. I'm starting to feel it too yeah, in my I'm eyes. Starting to feel it. That's yeah, awesome. those are some strong onions. Woo. Oh my oh gosh. Boy. You know what? That actually works. This is this. Do they make these in real life? I mean, you know, like. <laughs> They did make them in real life. You mean now? Well, now. They make a you modern know, now, Yeah, because they, they do have grandma choppers. Life. They do have like choppers like that, but they're not with the three blades like that. I, I whoa, there I go again. 
This is so good, it's making me cry. Yeah, let me try it a little bit. I'll okay, give you your eyes it. a break. Thank you. You know what? That's pretty fast. I know. I love this thing. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a real good This, show. I'm still, you know, I'm going to just tell you something, Lori. Are you taking that home? I'm taking this home. This is going to be my charge for helping you do this today. That's fine. And when you come over to my house during Christmas, when we see all the Hallmark ornaments I have, mm -hmm. I mean, Christmas or Same when you thing. come over at Christmas time, mm -hmm. when you're going to see all my Christmas ornaments I have yes. on the tree, yes, then I'll let you take a Christmas ornament. So hopefully, ornament oh, okay. So hopefully we can do a special at your house too. So that would sure. be good. I love this. I think this is definitely thumbs up. Oh uh, no, 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 Lori. This one is two thumbs two up. Two thumbs up. The chopper is the way to go. Yeah. So I hope you had fun with us trying all those kitchen tools. I and, sure did. And I, I tell you what, if we goofed up something, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm sure we did. We didn't do things quite perfectly, but we gave it a try. We gave it a valiant effort. I'm, I'm really hoping Nana would have been proud of us. I think she would have been. Okay. So this is Lou and Sherry from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles saying goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.